So here I'm exploring a little bit of making the cello sound a bit more like a drum. In South Africa we have these beautiful drums called malombo drums. So I've put on some blue tack. Just be trying a few things just to see if I can make any, any grooves. So this is my route, once in a while I take a walk here, especially on the days when it's too busy. Instead of taking a long walk, I tend to go to a river nearby. Um, a lot of this is kind of what seeps into the music a little bit. We were asked to pick a specific time of day to make a piece of music about. I chose very early morning. First thing that I did was to record that. Good morning. It's quite early. We've come out to see what we can find, haven't we? The setting uh, of the story in my mind uh, for my piece is that very special time of day where it's neither daytime nor nighttime, but that strange liminal, luminous place. The first place that came to my mind was nature because this is where I seek refuge and healing for myself. When I walk in nature, there are different lines of thought and feeling that flow through me. The next thing I did was to write a story. It was great for me because it gives essentially a map. I've got a duration then and a little narrative that I can play around with. It gives me something to write music to. It's a bit like writing music to a film but you get to choose the film there's a beautiful river just around the corner uh, where i spend a lot of time either dancing thinking or skipping some stones and chilling so these places of solitude are so great for creativity i feel very lucky to have them at this time i've deliberately written this piece in a way that i feel will be um easily interpreted by each individual and, and can be used as a vehicle for uh, whatever it is that they're feeling at the time, what needs to be processed and thought about. I'm thinking that what could be really nice is to see if we can get a much more wooden sound with the dampened string by the blue tag. So. So these are the kind of explorations that are going into this thing. The colours are what is the most important for me. Finding different colours, percussion and different ways of singing. And sometimes making it sound not so much like a cello, uh, but like everything else. So I wanted to um, play you a small excerpt. Um, here it is. <laughs> This is a little bit to my creative process and a lot of the time I come here to make uh, my thoughts coherent and um, yeah, come to play a little bit. <laughs> 